Right, first of all, big shout out to Brett, the Urban Stealth Camper Van Man. Thank you so much, Brett, for giving me a shout out um, on the videos. Loads of people have subscribed since then, and they're all following me now. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. It'll probably turn out that you've done more single-handedly to destroy the reputation of YouTube than anyone else. <laughs> I'm only joking, mate. Um, yeah, thanks, mate. And thanks to all the others for your comments. Um, it's been really useful, and it's nice to know people are interested and uh, they want to see what happens. They want to see me uh, trip up or cut my hand off or something like that. Um, anyway, keep watching, guys. Thank you. I was uh, responding to some messages on um, on YouTube last night. Went to put on some more video uh, to uh, edit some more video footage, and it seems that I've either not recorded it or it's missing. Um, what I was doing yesterday or the other day uh, was basically starting to lay the floor which is something I've been keen to do for so long because I just want to get the floor in and get it finished not, not finished but get the floor in and apply it in so that I've got a good foundation to start everything else it's a big part of it it's been such a pain in the arse and I, <laughs> I thought I was recording all the crap that went along with it because it's not an easy job in here the floors are a bit uneven I've got some footage which I shall post up there perfect shows you the trials and tribulations really of, uh, of what's involved in a van build, it's not straightforward. A lot of these other van builders that I've watched, um, you know, they, they say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm converting a van and, I, and they show you all this nicely edited footage and uh, it's all straightforward, every piece of wood fits properly, everything's level, well, well. and then you go three or four videos forward and they're in a workshop, and and there's like, <laughs> and it's like planers and thicknesses, which I could have done with the other day, and table saws, and routers, and jigsaws, and pillar drills, and um, you know builder squares, and all, all sorts of equipment that they've got. And I'm thinking, yeah, no wonder your build's gone straight forward. You know, like I've tried to fit some timber in there and I need to take a mill off of this end this this end and a couple of mill off of that end and you know I've had to borrow a planer off a mate of mine um, and, and basically just work around it really but that's what happens in van builds it, it it's um it just it never goes to plan really there's always something needs needs to be um, tweaked recut remeasured I mean, there are some things I've measured and measured and measured, cut it precisely, gone to fit it in, don't fit. I don't know why. But yeah, it's a shame that that footage has, um, some of that footage has disappeared, really. But I'll show you the floor, um, where I've got so far. I've got about two thirds of the floor in, um, the, the battens and the insulation. Um, I'll show you where I am with it then. So, what I was doing the other day basically, I put my 25mm uh, timbers in now. Because the floor was a bit uneven, I've had to put some Sikaflex underneath 
and also I've had to screw them in. I didn't really want to screw the battens in. I thought, what the hell, screw them in. So I've screwed, screwed them in, the long bits, and glued in the shorter noggins all the way up. It's now solid. The, um, I've got the Kingspan, same as Sealatex insulation in the floor. Um, that's 25mm. Comes up to the surface, which is nice. That so was a pain in the ass to cut. When you cut it with saw, uh, it, it just you end up like a load of scrambled egg everywhere. <laughs> Completely covered my driveway. But um, anyway, that, that's in. And this back bit here, this has been a pain in the ass. I'll show you. Because I think I think I put it. Basically, where I've started the van, this bit here, I couldn't start it. You know, I wanted the floor to come right to this edge, and I and I couldn't put 25 mil batten because this is lower than the ridges. <coughs> so I had to get a piece of timber, get it cut as that's about 35 mil from there to the top of that batten. So I had to get it cut as close as possible, then I've had to use a um, planer to bring it down right. Just cut some uh, insulation to go across the back there. And that timber then sits in the back, flush with the back, flush-ish. And um, the floor will come up to there and then I'll put an edging strip. When the doors are shut, there's, there's still a gap. Um, that will probably be glued in there, and then the floor ply will hold it in place. Over on each corner, I don't know what you guys think, but about cutting a little piece out of the timber just in that corner. Because at some point I might want to replace this, uh, this rubber seal. So if I cut a piece off the corner, It'll allow me to get that seal off in the future, but tell me what you think. But anyway, it's um it's coming on. I just want to get the floor down because the other reason I wanted to get the floor in was um to give me a true indication once the floor applies down as to my height. Because I've got a decision to make about the ceiling, which is whether I go for fifty mil insulation or twenty five mil. And that's dependent on whether I put ceiling battens underneath the metal ridges or on the side of the metal ridges. Um, if you put them on the side of the metal ridges, you lose insulation. But if you put them underneath the metal ridges, you lose height. So um, I'm trying to decide that as well. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's crack on.